The basic idea of cogeneration is simple enough. Just combine the generation of electricity and thermal energy into a single power plant. You can extract more heat and electricity from less fuel, which means a higher overall efficiency, considerable savings, and a cleaner environment. Situate your power plant close to the point of consumption and you do away with most transmission and distribution costs. Equip your plant with dependable engines that can be run on a variety of fuels. Cut investment cost and construction time by choosing a modular power solution based on proven standardized components. Cut maintenance and service costs with an appropriate service agreement. Bring all this together and you'll have all the advantages of decentralized power production, an adjustable, independent and versatile source of energy, balanced and tailored to meet your needs. In a combined heat and power plant, the energy of the primary fuel, for example natural gas, is converted into electricity by means of generators driven by reciprocating engines. Heat released in this process is mainly recovered from the exhaust gases and to some extent from the cooling systems of the engines. All the parameters of a combined heat and power plant are calculated and adjusted according to the needs of the client. These include the total output of the plant and a balance between electrical and thermal energy. The installation is easy to adapt to a wide range of industrial processes and equally easy to connect to a local district heating and power grid. A cogeneration plant can also be built or upgraded into a tri-generation plant by including a chiller to produce cold chilling water in addition to heat and electricity. The concept of tri-generation is especially convenient for large cooling and air conditioning solutions. Rinkebing is a small township of some 3,500 inhabitants in western Jutland, Denmark. The local district heating company, one of several hundreds of similar companies in Denmark, decided early in 2002 to do away with their old gas turbine that was considered too inefficient to operate and too expensive to service. A new Vatsala 20-cylinder gas engine was delivered to Rinkebing in September 2002 and was up and running in just three months. Mr. Jesper Skovhus Andersen, plant manager of Ringkerving Fjernwärmewerk, puts it like this. We bought an engine with the highest electricity efficiency in the world, nearly 43%. So we decided to build a plant with a total efficiency of one of the highest in the world. We choose this type of engine mainly because of its high efficiency and the size of it. But uh, when it comes to uh, environmental things, it also met our demands. We use every, uh, every waste heat from the plant that is regarding lubrication oil, um, uh, jagged water, uh, exhaust gas, everything. So we, can, uh, so we have built a plant with a total efficiency of more than 95%. We are making a lot of money on selling electricity now. And that's, uh, that's helping us keep the prices on our district heating down. And it has worked uh, very nice for us. Our prices on district heating is lower than it ever been before. Sweetheart Cup is a major American manufacturer of disposable food service materials. One of the company's production sites is located in Baltimore, Maryland. The combined heat and power plant, constructed in 2002 adjacent to the manufacturing plant, is powered by two Vertzilla 18-cylinder 34SG spark ignited gas engines with a power output of 5.6 megawatts each. The engines run on average 16 hours a day, every week, Monday to Friday, producing a total of 11.5 megawatts of electricity, which covers most of the electricity consumed in the production. Additionally, the power plant provides all the heat and processed steam, compressed air and vacuum for the whole complex. The basic thermal energy output of the plant is 4.3 megawatts, which is raised to a level of 15 megawatts by supplementary firing. 
The power plant has a compact layout on three floors, explains Mr. David Ingalls, senior operating engineer of the power plant. On the first floor of the building, we have the main engines and the generators. Then on the second level, we have our uh, catalytic converters, which are pollution controls for the exhaust. And on the third floor, we have two steam generators, which produce steam for the entire manufacturing facility. It's been running for a little over a year now. Um, we've had some minor problems, not with the engines, but with, what, with some of the subsystems. But the engines are running like a champ. Uh, we have additional burners on the system uh, because the engines don't put out quite enough steam to carry the whole plant. Uh, we have two duct burners. We have one on each steam generator that adds a little extra to the amount of steam that is produced by the generators, which gives us the capacity to hold the whole plant. The most important factors considered when making the decision about the power plant investment back in 2002 were financial. Sweetheart Cup used to be totally dependent on outside energy sources and wanted to safeguard itself against heavy price fluctuations and energy shortages that might jeopardize the production, recalls Howard Cabeus, plant engineering manager at Sweetheart Cup. We decided to put in a combined heat and power plant here because of our heavy steam load and by uh, putting in our own energy in the deregulated energy market in Maryland now, we can make electricity cheaper than we can buy from the outside at the same time, get almost free steam. With, with our own plant, we're not dependent upon the deregulated market, which could skyrocket prices, which happened the last couple years in California. Our experience with Wart Cell has been nothing but positive. They're doing a, did a, a great job building the plant, commissioning the plant, debugging it, and now they're providing you know, great support running it. A combined heat and power plant provides better efficiency, better stability, and a better control of fuel and energy prices in the long run. That's why Wärtsilä has built and installed so many of them.